Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. And this is another beginner video and this is going to be about um, putting a gel base coat and top coat on your nails or how I go about putting gel on my nails. And um, uh, I've got another video that shows you how I safely and completely soak off my gel mayonnaise. And I use these foil wraps and I will link that up here somewhere hopefully if I remember <laughs> and let's go from there so I keep gel on my nails as a base coat at all times it keeps your nails from staining and it gives them a little strength um, you know you go about your normal routine about soaking off and cleaning your nails really well um, you know push back your cuticles Take some alcohol and a little sprayer and dehydrate your nails really well. Clean them really well. Do not soak them in water. I don't recommend you getting them wet and washing them in soap and water. Some people do. I do not because you don't want moisture in your nails. You just want them dry. So some alcohol should be plenty. And how have I not, how did I miss any polish whatsoever? All right, ne next step is going to be dehydrator. You do not have to use this. You can just use the alcohol, but I choose to. I got this on Amazon. It is just a dehydrator. So once again, you don't have any moisture on your nails. No oil, no lotion. Now you can go ahead and use a bonder if you like. Um, I found bonders don't really help me, but that doesn't mean it won't help you. Then I go with the base coat. This is Madam Glam. Use whatever brand you like. But here's the important part. So your nail is your nail beds are all these little layers and they have bridges and you can't really see them with the naked eye, but um, I'll see if I can't find a maybe picture on the internet of, you know, your nail bed, how it looks under a microscope. But there's all these little ridges and stuff. So you want to um, wipe off almost all of the gel off of your brush. And then you're just going to, like, scrub your nail with it so that it's getting all up in there. And that's part of the reason I think the bonder sometimes doesn't work very well for me because it's like not letting the gel base get in all the little crackies of my nail. And then my nails are so curved, I want to make sure that I get that edge and then the tips I don't really like it underneath my nail because I pick at that and end up peeling it off. So if you do it like this, you're getting your tip, but it's not like piling up underneath your nail. And then I do that with all of them. And I usually do two super thin base coats. And I cure it for um, whatever your polish says on the bottle. Uh, Madam Glam says 30 to 60 seconds. I have a 48 watt lamp. The lamp I have is linked down below. I don't show you sticking my hand in my lamp because my lamp's over there so that I don't accidentally cure any gel that I'm using on my desk so I don't keep my lamp on my desk. It's like behind me on another separate side desk so um, if you get any around your fingers, make sure you get that off your skin first. That gives it less chance of lifting if it's not on your skin. Um, I usually use my other nail or orange wood stick, but you can also use a cleanup brush and alcohol. Go cure. Sound like a cheer. Go cure. Okay, I also ne neglected to say, you want super thin coats because, you know, once again, my nails, okay, my beds are so curved. My nails, not my real bed, it's pretty flat. 
and when it gets heated up and my hands are always hot when it gets heated up it tends to run a little bit so it wants to run down into my cuticle and flood there so super thin coats are pretty important also I use peel off base coat on the top of this and I found that peel off base coats if you put that straight to your nail it yellows it makes your fingernail so yellow when I was using just peel off base coat all the time and not putting a gel down first or even just a regular base coat down first and peeling it off of that my nails got so yellow but this really helps keep your nails strong it's kind of like an overlay and I have no issue with peel off over the top of it and if you don't use a peel off base coat that's okay if you put a gel base down first regular polish comes off easier and you can use a non acetone I still use acetone but you can use a non acetone remover to get the polish off your fingernails and leave the gel base so you can change your color as often as you like alrighty that's one thin coat of gel polish base now to do a second and cure for another 30 seconds I don't want to see in the comments how long do you cure is that gel do you have to cure it with a light yes you do listen to the video wow guileen don't have to get so nasty if it doesn't cure with a lamp it isn't gel you know they can say gel like just like gel lasts as long as gel as long as they want to as much as they want to i don't believe it i've tried that stuff it doesn't really work it's not gel if it's in a clear bottle and it's not you know in an opaque black covered bottle to keep the light from getting to it it's not gel it's just regular polish and they just use that as a gimmick a sales gimmick to suck you in to buying it and that's all it is it's not gel don't believe it so at this point is where you would be putting on you wouldn't wipe off the sticky layer which is just uncured gel that just won't won't cure you just wipe it off um, you either would not remove that and put regular gel polish on next or wipe it off and put regular polish on it but I take it a step further with my overlay I use um, some no wipe top coat over the top of that then if I do get caught where I don't have time to polish my nails they look super nice just unpolished just like they've got clear polish on them so I'm gonna go with Madame Glam no wipe top coat do do not if you're putting gel over it you do not have to wipe off the top the um, sticky layer and then some people use this sticky layer for foils or that kind of thing I don't find that it really works that well you can use the sticky layer um, for stamping you don't have to wipe it off if you're going to be stamping over the top of it of course maybe not on um, clear but it really helps your stamp stick to your nail and if you don't like it or it doesn't work out right you can just clean your stamp off which we'll is wipe it off um, and start again do it over but it really helps with sticking that stamp especially like super fine lines to your nail so you do not have to wipe off the sticky layer of gel polish before you stamp that's been another question I get a lot and um, anybody that has any questions whatsoever that they want me to answer or try to answer I'm not saying that I can <laughs> but I'll try it may not be right um, or I'll ask somebody that knows and let you know you can email email me or send me a, um, a private message on Facebook or uh, Instagram or whatever my Instagram and my 
um, Facebook. I mean, everything is Guy Lane 325. All right, there's my finished base top coat. And now I'll put oil on and uh, I think I'm gonna go with some white. I got this new hit the bottle peel off. Um, white undies and black undies and I'm gonna be doing some water marble so you want to follow me on Instagram because that's usually where I put that stuff I usually don't do very much water marble here filled. Oh. oh, he just fell through. Duck fell through the ice. Help! So that's a goose game. What do you think of the gooses? Oh, I can't get through. I can't get up. Oh, there you go, Spot. I just get ready to fall through again. Oh. <laughs> Fine, we'll just sit here. <laughs> How is that one standing? Look at that spot that he's standing in. Looks like it's it's know. thawed. Jesus goose. Look at him. He's oh yeah, look at me standing on the water. So oh, those are too. I don't know, there must be just enough water on top. I guess. That's weird. I guess they all are too over there. They're standing. You could have fall through. He slid. Yeah, I want to scare them so that they slide. That's what eagles do. When they're on the ice, they'll swoop down and scare them so they all go up at once and run into each oh, other and yeah. get hurt. And then the eagles eat them. Eagles are kind of buttheads, aren't they? They are. So are geese, though. Yeah, the geese really are. I like the white one. Mm hmm. He's just like, what the heck are these things? What are they? Are these flying puppies? Flying puppies? What do you think, Lucas? <gasps> what do you think? See, Penny, could, Penny don't really care. She cares more about the people walking around than the <laughs> ducks. <laughs> 